Hello guys, welcome to another video and today I'll be showing you how to deploy an express app with MySQL and the SQL is ORM in Railway and with no delay let's get into the video. Now we have just uh, uh, built a simple website, it's just a to-do, a to-do website so I can illustrate for you as you, you can come here, all to-dos over here and uh, you can add a to-do, example, uh, something like that then add a to-do as you can see it has been added to the database now uh, before uh, deploying the website uh, first thing you must uh, push your code onto your github repo because you'll be uh, deploying from that repository now uh, another important thing is, is that uh, make sure that your package.json you have uh, put your scripts over here so here mine is start so anytime that you just type npm start it starts the server so this is important so you must set your scripts well now uh if you have done all of that let's go straight into the into the deployment now you can go to your browser <coughs> then over here just type railway dot up just like that so relay dot up it will uh, redirect you to this website now the first thing you have to do is to click on the start a new project button so you click on that button then you deploy from github repo make sure you have, you have highlighted that one so you click over here then you select your repository mine is here example up so click on that then deploy now now as you as we wait uh, it can take some time uh, for it to build and deploy so be patient uh, as you can see it's building now so you can here there is the view view log you can see what is happening behind the scenes and uh, just can wait you can decide to wait for it then come back to the video or uh, as you can see now it has finished uh, deploying uh, but it will fail why because we have not set the mysql I will, I will show you how to set the mysql and uh, before setting that mysql let me show you how you can generate a domain for where you can access this website so you can go here over settings the settings tab so click on it then go here over uh, go to where let us see you can go here yeah and the environment then over here you can generate a domain if you have a custom one you can click over here but you can generate a, a domain this would be generated automatically by railway so i will click on the generate domain so if you click here it will give you this this uh, long uh, url so you can copy it then uh, you can come over here let me you can open a new tab then paste the link send place and uh in presenter so as you can see it's telling you one moment the deployment should be live soon so it takes uh, some seconds or a minute uh to do that but let me refresh again now yes you can see there is a server uh, application error there is a uh, is your app listening on on port so let us configure the environment variables so you can go back over here then on your project in the variables tab so click on that variables then cl uh, click on the new variable so you can click over here i will name it port then over here i will give it a custom port so for example port 3000 then click on add now uh this uh, the names of the of the of the environment variables must match the ones that you put on the your env as you can see i had the port i had uh, uh this this whole uh environment variable so these variables are the ones that you will add to your uh railway environment variable so let's go back now let's add mysql first then we can come here and, and add some 
extra variables for the database so you can close here so you can harm uh, you can come over here uh, you can create new then database so over here so you can click over the new button here then the database over here now let me click it so you can uh, uh, add your the database of your choice mine is uh, mysql so click on the mysql then as you can see mysql is, has been added so i can click on the mysql over here then let me wait it for for it to, to finish so over here after you've clicked this tab over here you can come here on the variables so you can see the uh, railway has generated you uh, the database name the host the password the port the user and the base url now uh, let us configure our application with these credentials now uh i have to open let me open another another tab over here mm -hmm. uh, but oh let us do it uh, the menu so i can i can come here then see this copy the database name come over here then on the setting uh, on the variables over here i can come here add a new variable so i named mine database so database i paste the one that has been generated now we can go back over here and uh, check uh, on the variables again so i can come on the hosts uh, so copy this host come back over here then on the variables add another one so i can say db hosts db hosts then paste it over there then add remember these names i've showed you must match the ones that you uh, you had used in your code as you can see here i used these variables to to connect to my code so the names must be matching with those one that you are typing in over here now i've added the db hosts now the next one we can add the oh, so variables the host can copy the password so coming here you can click here so on the variables so mine i named it db password just like that then paste it then click on add then i can go back over here then uh, the variables then check the port then copy the port then i can go back over here then variables i can add the db port db port just like that then copy that then click on add and then i can go back check on the user now the user over here so it's root now i can go back over here on the variables then i can add a new variable so i named mine db username db username then paste the value over here then i click on on okay with that uh we, you are set to go uh and uh yeah, the, uh, your application should be building because of the changes that have been made so you can wait for sec uh, for a minute or two for mine it has finished building over here now i can come uh I can click here now as you can see it's building so give it some time as it takes the changes now it it has finished it has finished uh, uh deploying so i can click on the i can click on this url or you can go back and uh, refresh your page and see so i can click on that url so server port so it takes some time to take the changes again now you can give it a minute 
so keep on refreshing ah nice as you can see the application is working now so i can add a to do so then for example i say go clubbing just like that then uh add the to do as you can see the to do has been added and if i come here on the mysql on the data you can see the table has been created and uh the data is coming back uh in the railway uh, mysql admin panel so you can add for you can add another one so you can add so add a to do just like that then your website has been deployed just very simple steps so if you're not understand you can leave a question on the comment section so i can i can revisit it and see where the problem uh is originating and uh, 